was back in May 2008 on a road trip with two Aussie friends that I first discovered the intensity of the Sierra Nevada mountains. One high peak stood out at that point and I decided that climbing to the top of it would be my goal as part of my recovery from impending heart surgery. At that time I didn't know it was called Mount Whitney and I didn't know that it was indeed climbable in one day nor that it was the highest peak in the contiguous United States. But I soon discovered this when I asked the staff at the Best Western Lone Pine. So, within an hour of first sighting of this beautiful yet fearsome peak, I was off to check it out from up close. In February 2010, I'd submitted my entry into the Mount Whitney Permit Lottery. After an agonising six weeks of waiting, I noticed my credit card had been debited by Inyo. Awesome! Soon after, I found out I was successful with both my first choices, June 22 and July 15. So I booked my six week USA adventure vacation around these dates. Okay guys, uh, we're here on the 22nd of June and uh, we've just driven up to the Whitney portal and we're about to go for a bit of a hike up the trail here, so uh, come join me. Uh, so we are at 8760 feet, done one, 1.6 kilometres and I've met a few people on the way, had a a chat to them. Uh, let's see how we go with this creek, see on the other side. The Mount Whitney hike starts at an elevation of 8,360 feet and tops out at 14,500 feet, almost a 6,200 feet elevation gain. Only the very fit should attempt this in one day. A lot of snow was still present in the Sierra Nevada in June. So, for the inexperienced, July was more feasible to make it to the top of Mount Whitney in one day. So June 22 would be a practice hike for the main summit attempt on July 15. So we're here at the beautiful Lone Pine Lake, as you can see behind me. About 10,000 feet in elevation. Just over a two hour hike from the uh, start of the trail. Beautiful spot here. Absolutely beautiful. Hard work. 10,300, is that all? It was like more. A downhill section at last. Whoa, this is much better. I can handle, handle this almost, as long as I watch where my feet are going. Yeah, I'm not sure whether or not that's Whitney up there or. Or it's a bit further around. I reckon we might see it shortly though. Well, 
well, I've made it to Outpost Camp, uh, 10,450 feet by looking at it. It's taken me four hours, but I've taken my time, chatted to people, had a stoppy side, one time late. Uh, but I think that's probably enough for me. It's probably going to take two and a half, three hours to get back, so. Well, that was much, much easier going down than getting up there. So uh, we're back to start the trail. <laughs>